Welcome back and welcome. This is Holly D with Holly D Traveling After Transplant. And you know if you see me, it is time for another adventure. We're headed to the big game. Well, the Chiefs are, but I'm not. I'm headed to LA for a four day Baja cruise out of Long Beach on the Radiance with Carnival. So today is fly day and I'll be keeping like a day, day and a half in Long Beach before boarding the ship. And of course, I'm going to be watching the big game while I'm there. I had to get somewhere so I could for sure watch the game. But headed out this morning. So I'm going to wrap up and head on to that plane. While I continue to make those memories and not dreams. And live every day as a gift because that's what it is. Thanks to my heart donor. So let's go. Okay, so made it here to Long Beach. Ignore the mask face, it's been on for hours now. But here's Long Beach. It is one where you walk like straight off the plane onto the runway and then go through like the building, but it's kind of like Art Deco. It's pretty cool, but definitely a step back in time and like baggage claim is outside and all that. But if you follow the signs, it's really easy to navigate because it's pretty small. So on to find Queen Mary. Okay, so I have made it to the Queen Mary. Here is the Queen Mary. And then here is where you board for Carnival. Um, but I get to walk a whole bunch of game planes this week. So here is the entrance into the Queen You do check in where it says like the tours, um, which it was really busy because there's a wedding here tonight, but this is the entrance. Okay, so check-in did take quite a bit, but their check-in isn't until four, and there was that huge wedding party that also was checking in, so it was busy, but finally made it to the room, and the history geek in me is, like, in love with this place. As you can see, the hallways are all, like, wood-lined with railings, um, more of, like, an Art Deco kind of style, but here I am in A163. It is a King Harbor View. There are magnetized keys for the door, which takes away a little bit of the history, but I'll accept it. Here is the room. All of the doors are raised, so you have to make sure to like step over, which that could be fun in the middle of the night. But here is the bathroom. All like the old fixtures and tiling. So pretty. A nice shower. It does come with some amenities. Uh, looks like shampoo, conditioner, shower gel. This looks like I may need to have an engineering degree <laughs> to work it, but we'll try it. And then, of course, the towels and all that. Nice, clean. I mean, it is old but it's clean little closet areas I'm kind of exploring with you i haven't opened anything or anything like that because i want to do all this sense my excitement because i love old stuff like this oh it even like has the old like closet smell but then they have like a makeup or desk area. There is a TV. And this is how it came in. Like when you walk in, they had all the lights and things on. So that will be a fun way to try to figure out how to shut all these off at the end. But these are the air vents for the room. I turned them colder, supposedly. So we will see how that goes because it is pretty stuffy in here right now. But nice clean bed dresser. I think that's just for looks now. And then like little nightstands on each side. And then the porthole. Which, ah, how exciting. So cool. And then 
There is my harbor view of Long Beach. So I'm going to get a little settled and then head out and explore the rest of the ship. But isn't this amazing? Like, ah, love it, love it, love it. Even though it gives little Titanic vibes, but I love the old woodwork and metal and all that kind of stuff. So can't wait to explore. See you around the ship. Okay, I have to say this is worth the price of admission to me. Um, just looking at all this stuff. <sighs> I didn't take many videos or pictures on the inside yet. Um, I'll wait for tomorrow because there's a huge wedding party in there. But you're able to walk out here on the wood decks. Not laminate, they're actual wood. They've got some little waves to them, but so much fun and there's so much to explore and they've done a really really good job of like modernizing what they need to modernize but then keeping the history so it's really cool and I remember I'm like really sorry I missed it but I actually did like just sound the horn too so much excitement Okay, I'm having a really hard time believing this because, was it a really long wire? A telephone is wired. I don't know. We'll have to see. Right, so we are in back in my room here on Queen Mary and today has been a very packed kind of jam-packed day but it was nice the flights and all that went well got checked in here to Queen Mary and explored a whole bunch of the ship and then um, I went and took an uber to go to Roscoe's house of chicken and waffles uh, kind of looked at what was offered or whatever and I was like hey I've heard of that one <laughs> let's try that and it did not disappoint it was super super good I got the thigh waffle and a side of collard greens and uh, quick service clean restaurant um, I was kind of surprised it wasn't busier on a Saturday night but it might be because it was a little early for <laughs> that kind of area of town it was like Kind of the bar area or whatever but it was very very yummy and now i am here um probably gonna call it a night since my body clock is still on central time zone so um get a good night's sleep and then i have a tour of this wonderful ship tomorrow and then of course the big game so tomorrow will be busy as well but for tonight good night and continue to make those memories and not dreams and live every day as a gift because that's what it is. See you around the ship.